Welcome. In today's video, I'll show you how it only took me five days to make back my money, which I had spent on my Bobcat Miner. I'll go through my five day earnings with one Bobcat Miner and why it is important to understand your location and antenna placement to maximize your rewards. I'll leave all the relevant links in the description below. My one Bobcat Miner cost me $510 and in five days, it approximately made me around $525 using the same Bobcat Miner straight out of the box. The high earnings were mainly based on three factors. Number one, location. The placement of this specific Bobcat is based in the city of London. As you can imagine, it is densely populated with hundreds of miners around. The reward scale was lower compared to other miners that I have set up outside of the city. But on the other hand, it is witnessing more miners. So if you do have a miner that will be placed within a densely populated area, your aim should be to witness as many miners as close to you as possible. And to do this, you would need to ensure your antenna signal is the boss of all bosses. That brings me on to point number two, antenna. For the first five days, I tested out my Bobcat 4 DBI stock antenna. And honestly, I underestimated how powerful the antenna is for such a small footprint. I swapped out my 4 DBI for a 5.8 DBI antenna. You would think that by increasing the DBI, it will also increase your HNT rewards. However, this is not always true. When upgrading my antenna, I actually cut my HNT rewards by half. I was earning on average around 9 HNT per day for one Bobcat Miner, and the rewards dropped to around 4 HNT as you can see within the app. Let me explain why. By increasing the DBI of the antenna, it is like squeezing the signal so it reduces the sensitivity to reach hotspots around you, but it has more potential to reach hotspots further out. Being based in a city, it is hard to reach miners further out because of the amount of interference from other buildings getting in the way. By upgrading my antenna to a 5.8 DBI, the signal became more concentrated in one direction, which reduced the ability to connect to miners around me. The 4 DBI antenna was able to witness around 35 to 45 hotspots per day and the 5.8 DBI was able to witness around 20 to 25 hotspots per day. Within a densely populated city full of many interferences, your target should be to connect to more miners around you unless you're within a building towering over others. Which brings me on to point 3, elevation. I had the option to place my miner within two apartments within the same building. The first apartment within the building was located 40 meters high. The second apartment was located approximately 25 meters high. Testing the miner in both apartments, it clearly proved the higher the antenna, the better the rewards. This is because the antenna had a clearer line of sight to connect with other antennas. At a lower level, the signal sent out was obstructed by buildings, not allowing it to reach a further distance. If your miner is able to be witnessed or witness other miners, then you will earn more HNT rewards. But also the type of antenna you are using is important depending on the terrain around you. By understanding these three factors, you should be able to make more calculative decisions on optimizing your setup. By planning, testing and plotting out my miner, I was able to set it up to generate more HNT rewards in the long run. So quickly going through my first five days of mining, you can see that the first day I generated 7.88 HNT, day 2 8.17, day 3 4.76, day 4 9.69 and day 5 6.78 totaling up to 37.28 HNT. If I times this by 14.1, which is the current price of HNT while making this video, it totals up to approximately $525. As you can see, I made my initial investment back within five days of mining, and hopefully you can do the same. If you found this video useful, please do give it a thumbs up and do subscribe as I will be bringing you more informative helium miner content. Thank you for watching. Peace.